James, we spoke about how tough it was going to be before the game, but I think that was a brilliant performance, wasn't it, from, from the shots out there? Yeah, they, they stuck to the game plan and, and something we, we've really focused on is, is our how we start a game and obviously of late that's that's worked in, in terms of the, the Solio game and the, and the Bromley game. We've, we've come out the blocks and started really well, so it's um, showing what, what we're trying to do. Um, and yeah, they, they stuck to the game plan. We had to tweak it at the second, uh, second half to, to try get at the back four and get higher in our press. Um, rode out the spell which they had in the second half and then obviously in he, in he got his hat-trick and, 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 and done what he does and put the ball, ball away in the middle of the box. So we're delighted with how they performed and, and the game plan and how it went. Well, I, I guess things do get made a bit easier, don't they, when you're, when you're number nine and your captain leads from the front and scores a hat-trick. It's a brilliant hat-trick as well, isn't it? Yeah, it was, and, and, and that's where we, we want to put him. We want to put him in those areas where he's going to get chances, and, and that's where he's best. He's best in and around the box, putting, putting the ball in. with That header for the, for the third goal was fantastic, so that's what we want to do. But again, there's got to be plaudits to, to chances, which Oli created. Glover obviously got a couple of shots away on goal. Um, so, so we've got attacking talent in the team. Um, it come from everywhere, but when you're centre forward and scoring three goals, you're you're always happy. So he, he did brilliantly tonight. So yeah. And not to take anything away from him, he's brilliant hat trick and performance out there. But I, it probably was quite a really good team performance as well, wouldn't it? You, it's, it's hard to say any of the players out there didn't do well. They were all fantastic, weren't they? Yeah. Again, it's it's hard to pick out individuals, um, but they, they stuck to the game plan. As we said, we want we wanted to press. As I spoke to you on on Thingy and on. Um, first day and we, and we managed to do so and, and we got after them and, and, and that proved dividends putting them in behind and making them defend I thought Justin was brilliant out on the right I and mean, as I mentioned Glove's done well and, but again the back three, uh, back four in the second half they listened to the instructions got higher and more aggressive um, so yeah a great great team performance um, and something we're looking to continue that momentum this run that we've been on, you know, we, you can speak about how it can really affect the players and make them tired, but these results really do push through and build some momentum, don't they? Yeah, 100%. I think um, when we came in, it was it was a matter of, of four games in 10 days or something like that. And obviously, uh, January calendar isn't, is it's one of that where it's been, it's been full on and, and obviously we're coming into six home games now. So momentum's key in football and almost these um, tricky periods where you've got lots of games when your momentum's with you, um, it makes it makes your life miles easier because you're just riding the wave and you're just continuing to do what you've what you've worked on. Me and Ross have been with been with the group for for three or three or four months now, and um, they're starting to see our, our philosophy, and and you're starting to have less time on the training pitch. But because that's already embedded, we can just roll onto games and and tweak things, and, and they adapted the way we needed to. And, yeah, overall a good performance and a good day. And as you say, back to the ebb now for a real bumper run of six games. I think well, the fans were in fine voice tonight as well, mm. so they can really get behind us and, and, and it just, it's, it's looking up, isn't it? Yeah, that's what we need. We 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 know obviously times haven't been easy at this football club, um, but it's miles miles easier for the boys to perform and the boys to 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 bounce off that off off that energy off the crowd. I think um, you look back to to the game against. Uh, Maidenhead the second half where obviously the result didn't go the way we wanted to do but the East Bank almost pulled the ball into the goal at times and, and created chances so they've been fantastic against Bromley and for fantastic tonight so fingers crossed for these um, six games we've got coming up at the EBB we can we can fill the crowd and, and they can be in full voice. Cheers James. All good thanks Dan. Click here for the latest match highlights and click here to subscribe. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information.